Starting with Nmap, the Sherlock Holmes of hacking. This tool doesn't just scan networks, it profiles them. Want to know which doors, ports are open on a server? Run Nmap for a stealthy scan. Found port 22 open? That's SSH, baby. Time to brute force, but here's the kicker. Use Nmap-O to guess the target's operating system. If it says Windows XP, you've hit the jackpot. And pro tip, pair it with the Nmap scripting engine to auto-detect vulnerabilities. Hackers love Nmap because it's the ultimate recon tool. Next up, Shodan. It's where hackers go to explore the internet's underbelly. Search port 3389 to find exposed RDP servers or default password for 50,000 devices begging to be hacked. Found a traffic light system? Congrats, you're now a digital supervillain. Don't forget to use Census for free, but Shodan's filters like Country US or, or Google are worth the price. Just don't accidentally hack a power plant. Metasploit, it is where hackers go shopping for exploits. Imagine a library of 2,000 plus pre-built attacks. Need to hack a Windows machine? Type this and boom, you're in. But the real magic is Meter Preter, Metasploit's payload that lets you control hacked machines like a puppet master. Screenshot desktops, steal passwords, even turn on webcams. This tool will assist you with anything. Fun fact, the 2017 Equifax breach was done with Metasploit. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Now, Cobalt Strike, it is the Ferrari of hacking tools. Red teams use it for advanced attacks, phishing, lateral movement, even fake ransomware. Its beacon payload lets you control infected machines, while Malleable C2 disguises traffic as Netflix streams. But here's the catch. Licenses cost $3,500. So if someone's using it, they're either a pro or a very dedicated script kitty. And a pro tip, pair it with Sliver, the free alternative, if your wallet's crying. Wireshark is the nosy neighbor of hacking tools. It listens to every conversation on a network. See that HTTP packet? That's someone's login flying in plain text. Spot a post request? There's your password. Hackers use Wireshark to reverse engineer protocols, spy on unencrypted traffic, or even debug their own attacks. Pro move, capture traffic with TCP dump, then analyze it in Wireshark. It's like recording a phone call and replaying it to find secrets. Creepy? Absolutely. Effective? You bet. Now comes Mimicats. It is why Windows admins drink coffee at 3 a.m. This tool extracts plain text passwords, hashes, and Kerberos tickets straight from memory. Run this script and boom, there's the CEO's password. Hackers use it to escalate privileges, forge golden tickets, or pivot through networks. And here's the pro tip. Run it via PowerShell to evade antivirus. Microsoft hates it. Red teams love it. And you, you'll feel like a digital vampire. Burp Suite is the ultimate wingman for web hackers. Turn on the proxy and you can intercept requests, change user guest to user admin, and hijack accounts. Use the intruder to brute force logins with 10,000 passwords. Found an API? The repeater lets you tamper with tokens and cookies. And if you're fancy, the scanner auto finds vulnerabilities like XSS and SQLE. Burp Pro costs dollars, but the free version? Still a beast. Just don't blame me when you get addicted to hacking login pages. John the Ripper doesn't ask for passwords. It demolishes them. Feed it a hash like this for password and watch John brute force it with word lists. Hackers use it to crack stolen credential dumps, Linux shadow files, or even Wi-Fi handshakes. Also use this script for modern Linux systems. And if you're impatient, pair it with Hashcat in your GPU. But I am warning you beforehand, John has no mercy. Password 123 won't stand a chance. Aircrack entity is why your neighbor's Wi-Fi isn't safe. Step one, put your wireless card in monitor mode with Airmon NG start well and zero. Step two, capture a WPA handshake using arrow dump NG. Step three, run this script to crack the key. Hackers love it because it's fast, free, and ruthless. Pair it with Wi-Fi T to automate the grind. And if their password is I love you, you'll be in before they finish their coffee. Meet Impacket, the double agent of hacking tools. While everyone's busy with flashy exploits, this silent killer hijacks authentication handshakes and uses them against the very systems that trusted them. Here's the magic. It listens for NTLM authentication attempts, common in Windows networks, and relays them to other machines. Found a poorly secured SMB share? Relay those credentials to a domain controller and boom, you're now a domain admin. No brute forcing, no exploits, just pure ruthless trust abuse.
Last, but of course, not the least SQL map. It is the lazy genius of SQL injection. Found a vulnerable website? Type this command and watch it auto dump databases. Want credit cards? Add dash dash dump and let CQL map do the heavy lifting. But the real flex? Use double dash OS dash shell to get a reverse shell on the server. Yeah, it's basically hacking on autopilot. Just don't get cocky. This tool's so powerful, even the FBI has a warrant with its name on it.